The purpose of this video is to show you how to use the Smart Notebook to begin drawing for your animation. On the desktop, there's an icon that says Smart Notebook. Click that, or you can go to the Start bar. We're going to be looking up at the toolbox right here. There is the pens that you can click and use, just like we do in class. You can select what color you want. There's also some decorative pens, which are neat. You have the eraser, which you can click the size, small, medium, large. You can erase or draw a big circle, click in the center, and it will delete. You can also use the line tool. You can see there's straight lines, line with arrows. There's also curve lines. So it's real neat to stretch and click to make a curve line, or you could go ahead and make a straight line. And you could use this if you wanted to draw something in particular and you are worried about your hand being steady. So you can see I just kind of made like a little house. Um, there's also pre-made shapes that you can use if you click the shape button. All these shapes are here for you to use. So this is really cool because they have the talking bubbles. You just click and drag to make the bubble as big as you want. And so you might have your character saying something. You're going to click and put what you want in here. And then you can have your typing and you can change the font, make it a little smaller so it fits in. The other thing that you have to remember is you go at once you have one of these tools selected, you have to go back to the cursor if you want to move it. So if I want to move that, I have to be on the cursor right here. Um, you can also use this paint can to fill in. This is a solid fill. This changes the transparency. So let's uh, fill in this talking bubble yellow. But let's say mm, I want it to be a little bit lighter. I can go back to the transparency, make it a little bit lighter, and that helps it so you'll see through. Whoops, what did I do? Let's go up here to undo, undo. I'm going to undo the color that I did, click the paint. want my transparency to be pretty see-through. Not all the way see-through, but I do want a little yellow tint, so I'm going to click. And you can see it's like it's in the background. That's what transparency means. So hopefully this will help you with the drawing tools.